G'day guys and girls and welcome back to another game of Vids Vidya. Uh, in this episode I'm going to show you how to update uh, SKSE 64 and Sky UI. Now the latest SKSE 64 is uh, 2.00.12, uh, the latest Sky UI is 5.2. Now, up until, well, when I'm done today, I was running SkyUI 1.5.53 uh, and SKSE, I believe, was uh, 5.1. Now, um, some people are still having issues with SKSE or with SkyUI, so I guess I'll do a bit of a troubleshooting video and show you how to update it all in the one vid. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Uh, the first thing we have to do is update uh, Skyrim, and we do that through Steam. So I'll get Steam loaded up, and I'll show you how to update your launcher. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure Skyrim is up to date. Now, as soon as I went on to Steam and went go on, like restarted it and went online, it automatically detected that Skyrim needed an update, which is right here. I've paused it for the purposes of this video and it just started updating. Alternatively, what you can do is find uh, the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, right click on it, properties, updates, uh, not updates, um, local files, uh, verify integrity of game files. Now that'll do two things, that'll check for any updates, and that'll check to see, to, just to make sure that all the files that are in there are in there but since mine has already started i'm just going to hit that oh no cancel that there we go i should have hit that up there where it had paused uh and yeah sometimes with steam as well you can have it set so it um searches for updates for games when you go to launch them which i find is a major pain because when i go to play a game i don't want to sit down load it up hit play Oh wait, I need to wait for an update, which is a royal pain. So I usually just leave Steam in offline mode until I feel like I need to look for updates for certain things. Now, if you'll notice over here, I have Skyrim Special Edition, Skyrim Special Edition 2, all mods. Now this 2 doesn't mean like it's a second version of Skyrim or anything like that. It's their identical Skyrims. Just I've renamed this one to all mods to let me know that this is the file that I go to to install all the mods. And then this file does have mods installed, aka SKSE, uh, Inigo, and another follower mod, Sophia. And that's more or less just so I've got companions that I can tell to stand in certain places or where to go so I can show off other mods. But anyway, I digress. So I'll be showing you, so I'll be doing this twice. Once for this version, and then I'll get rid of that and rename this to something else, and then redo this whole thing again. Let it update, and then I'll show you how to, uh, yeah, install and update SKSE. All right, yeah, well, I'll see you when this uh, update is done. Okay, so before we do anything, We've just updated the launcher, and now I'm going to show you what happens. Steam updates your launcher, and you don't realize, uh, and you go to play the game, because you'll obviously go to load it from your SKSC loader. So you'll double-click on that, and then you'll get this warning message. It'll actually tell you what's wrong with it right here. So you are running a new version of Skyrim that this version of SKSC 64. Uh, sorry, then this version of SKSE 64. Uh, if this version just came out, please be patient while we update our code. So in other words, wait for SKSE to update it. Until then, uh, revert back to the previous launcher, which if you kept a copy of your launches, then you should just copy, paste, replace. You're good to go again until a new version of SKSE comes out. Now, I always recommend doing that, making a backup. I believe I've got it in another video on how to do that. 
Essentially, it's just as simple as copying these two files to another file somewhere else. And then when there's an update, you copy it back over to your main data folder. Uh, not your main data folder, sorry, your main Skyrim folder. But anyway, I'll move on. Um, in the meantime, please check and then they give you their website for you to go check. Usually, they're pretty good. Usually within a few hours of the update coming out, they've got their new, their update out. And it's really easy to update Skyrim, six, uh, sorry, SKSE 64, which I'll show you how to do later on. Um, but yeah, this next bit's important. Do not email. Uh, do not email about this. So pretty much, they know that there's a Skyrim update. Um, every time you send them an email or something, it takes them away from their work of updating it to read the email or to remove the email from their inbox. And you're essentially making it take longer for them to put out the update. So just leave it be. They know it's out. They know there's an update. That they need to do and they'll get it out to us as soon as possible and it even tells us what the uh, current version of SKSE is 2.0.10 uh, we will be installing 2.00.12 so yeah that if you get this message that's what it means that you need to update SKSE 64 now there is another message that you get I believe that um, if SKSC is up to date and your launches aren't. Uh, let's see if I can't find one of my old launches and I will um, and I'll show you what that message is. Uh, new folder, paste, replace. So now this has been unupdated. So if I were to launch this, which I will do in a moment, um, the game will launch fine. Now I'm using DX Tori, so if the video goes funny, that's why it doesn't like switching between desktop to game seamlessly. But here we go. So I'll load the launcher. Oh, and another thing, some people have been having issues with long load times. Now, don't stress out about this. The more mods you have running in your game, and the more things you have going on, especially with um, uh, what was it called? It was called um. Finn's behavior and uh, the Finn's updated version, it will increase load time. So like you'll see here how long it takes. I won't cut anything out, but you'll see how long it takes for my system to load it up. And it also depends as well on whether you're running this from an SSD or if you're running it from a hard drive and where in the hard drive it's located. But anyway, that all that's for another time. Let's load this up. Du, du, du. It's got to be patient. And there you have it. Like you saw how long it took. Like for it was only a few seconds, but for me, I've double clicked on it and I'm waiting. And to me, anyway, it felt like a minute or two it took to load up. But anyway, let's jump back on the desktop. Here we are back on the desktop. Um, but yeah, you saw how long that took for me to load up. So if you're having long load times, just check out how many mods you've got going on. If you want really quick load times, then unfortunately you're going to have to get rid of some of the mods. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the only solution I've found. Now, I don't mind long load times. I can double click, the, even if this took five minutes, which it never has. But even if this took five minutes, I could double click the loader, go out, make a cup of coffee, come back, sit down, and I'm ready to play. It doesn't take that long, obviously, but it does take a little bit the more mods you have in there. Anyway, so let's go back to, uh, let's update SKSE 64. I've already unzipped it. So this was the zip file. I've already unzipped it for the sake of time. Now, what we're going to do here is this file here, 1.5.62.dil, is not going to overwrite this one. So what I always recommend doing is highlighting anything here that has SKSE in the name. So that, 
that, that, that, that, and then deleting it. Just hit delete. It'll ask you if you're sure that you want to delete it. Yes, I am sure I want to delete this. And then all you do is go highlight everything and copy over. It will ask to replace some files. Yep, here we go. So these are the files that were in the data and the SRC file. Uh, so just hit yes, replace. And you're done. Now installation is exactly the same, except for you obviously won't have these SKSC or the SRC folders already there. So for installation, you literally just highlight everything, drag and drop. There is stuff here that you don't need, so you don't need that, you don't need that, and I'm pretty sure there's some stuff in here that you don't need. I could be wrong, but it's not going to hurt your game putting it all in there. Well, I run on average 150 to 200 mods on my game, and I, this is how I do it every time, and I've never had an issue with it, except for when either the loader or the um, execute the Skyrim, sorry, the only time I've had any problems is when the Skyrim executable or the SKSC executable is out of date. But anyway, let's, uh, let's have a look at this. Now, this is up to date. The launcher is not. And we get this error message. You are using Skyrim version 1.5.53, which is out of date and incompatible with this version of SKSC 64. Update to the latest version. So if you get that message, it pretty well tells you what's gone wrong. So this is out of date. That's when you go into Steam and pretty much do... Oh, sorry, I just hit enter then. That's when you go into Steam and you pretty much do what I did. So you either it either auto-detects that it needs to be updated and it'll update it, or B, you just uh, right-click on it, go to Preferences, go over to um, Files, I believe it is. Let's just bring this up. Library. So right-click on it, go to Properties. Sorry, not Preferences. Go to Properties, go to Local Files, and then just hit uh, Verify Integrity of Game Files. And what that'll do is it will run through all this and it will pretty much update anything that needs to be updated, but we've already got it here, so I'm just going to do that. Replace, yes. And that's it. I can now get rid of these because I don't need them anymore. That's it, this is now up to date. This is now up to date. Now let's uh, launch it and see what happens. Again, it'll take a little bit to boot up. Don't stress about it, just be patient. Okay, there we have it, we are in game. Well, not in game, but we're at the start menu here. Now I'm going to make sure SKSC64 is working by hitting the tilde key, which is located to the left of the one, underneath the exit key, but above the tab key. So you hit that, and then just type in get, oh, no space, so get SKSE version. So you type that in, get SKSE version, and then hit enter. SKSE version 2.0.12, uh, release IDX 61, runtime 010503E0. So I'm not too sure if from this point here, that from IDX 61 blah blah blah, if that will change for you. But as long as you get SKSE version 2.0.12, which is the version we've just updated to, then you know SKSE 64 is working. Now what we're going to do now is hit the tilde key again to get rid of that menu. And then I have not updated Sky UI yet. So Sky UI is still 5.1. We want 5.2. So I'm just gonna go in there, load up the uh, jack save as we always do. Uh, where is it? There we go. Load up the jack save. 
and pretty much just test to see um, yes I know mods are active and test to see what Sky UI 5 does when it's out of date to the Skyrim and the SKSE launcher so um, and again with the more mods these wait times here can vary to be continued hey guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, the next video should be up already so uh, just click on it and um, yeah you guys know what to do if you liked it like subscribe all that bye